What is up guys? Welcome to another day of our M2 build. Today is a very exciting day. As you could tell, weather has changed a bit on us. So we have about 20 degree difference. That's four for you right there. But anyhow, uh, we're gonna continue working on the M2 today. We got some goodies from the safety restore. Guys, let me show you. These are the belt buckles. Oh boy. These are the belt buckles that were rebuilt and the belt itself recharged by the guys at safetyrestore.com. This is a great company. If you need anything from seatbelt repair, web replacement, airbag module reset, these are the go guys to go to. I highly recommend them. I have sent out the belts on, on Wednesday and I today is Saturday and the belts already came already rebuilt which is exciting all is left to do is to reinstall them and uh, and finish our interior project let me show you what, what he accomplished so far so as you could tell we uh, I reinstalled the curtain airbags already this side as well all is left to do is put the headliner in and uh, Finish some minor trim pieces. Install our, our, our seat belts. And that will uh, complete our interior. And we'll move on to the front of the vehicle. We're gonna try to button up all the miscellaneous pieces like the brackets for the, air, for the oil cooler and the uh, auxiliary radiator, the headlight, and possibly we might test fit our bumper, which is right here, still wrapped. We're gonna see if we could get to that today. Oh, we're gonna install the uh, seat belt, which is fairly simple. You have these two charges here, left and right. This is called two stage. You have the plugs right here. All you have to do is plug them in and slide this, this tab right here, like that. again uh, this is a great option uh, to, that you could just send your existing belts if they were blown for any reason and have them rebuilt to OEM spec without spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh, on new parts you know you don't have to second guess yourself this is the part that fits because this came from your vehicle all it's uh, or all it's being done is the charge is being recharged and the mechanism is being fixed so it works as it came from the factory so, and voila we have a brand new belt so to speak now we're gonna do the the seat uh i'm gonna take it outside over there now for the seat it's a fairly simple install so we have our belt buckle all right there's only one screw I took that out from here you could tell. I don't know if I could do this with one hand, but let's try. Boom, we pull it like this. Now all that's left to do is guide the wire right back where to the main uh, main plug. Um, I don't think I could record it, hold the camera, but um, let me just show you. And you have to stick the plug at this side from underneath here, right there. 
So when you put the main uh, plug in for the seat, for the power in the car, it reads the signal. All right. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. Nothing too complicated. So next up, we're gonna get the brackets for the oil core, mount the brackets, and then possibly we'll mount the headlight back. So these are the brackets. What I wanna show you is actually BMW, I think it upgraded this part. Reason being is these are the same part numbers you could see right around here, right there. But this one is the old style, see so it has no grid, it has no, no grid, and this one, same exact part number, but it has this little grill, so it actually prevents uh, debris from getting uh, into the oil cooler or the uh, auxiliary radiator, because these are the same part number, they fit exactly the same um, on, uh, on on each side of the vehicle. Boom. So there it is. So it's all nice and mounted. I like this actually, this grill a lot better than the other one. It gives you nice protection uh, from any debris. That extra grill that, that this other one does not have, unfortunately, but hey, it is what it is. So basically you, there's two bolts holding up up there. You have to bolt them in from this side and there's one on on here held by this bracket and once you have the the actual bracket in place all it is it snaps into place the uh the oil cooler is slide there's two tabs right here they slide on from the top and this side you just push it in there's, there's two clips right here they just clip in and nice and sturdy does not go nowhere. Actually, we're not quite done on this side yet because I forgot all about these little uh, air scoop brackets that come on top here. They basically created like a funnel to this uh, from the bumper to this uh, oil cooler. So uh, let me mount it. They're pretty simple to mount. There's this little guide tab right here. You put this in this hole right there and you slide it in. And let me see if I could do this while hold, holding the camera. So you mount this like, uh, uh, let's see if I could do this with the camera. Hold the camera, uh, that's doable, let's see. Just like that. Yep, and you, Basically push it in until this hole aligns like that, and then this side you just put it behind behind the thing. There's some pins, and there you go. That's the complete look of this. Uh, take this off so it's nice. Yep, and that's how. The side should look and then there's another piece that that goes with the bumper that slides over this so the air gets scooped right in and goes through the through the oil cooler so we have our uh, side um, oil cooler and uh, actually radiator brackets all set up and the uh, the air ducts all installed so now we're gonna go ahead and install the um, bumper carrier I have to do that before I install the headlight because there's these long bolts that you cannot take out unless you move the headlight out of the way which is kind of odd that's okay we're gonna work around it and we're gonna take it from there then we're possibly gonna move up and install the headlight
right, so we got our, our bent bumper carrier on, put the headlight on as well. Everything went as planned. Everything is all buttoned up. All the uh, supports right here. This, we probably have to re-aim the headlights once we turn everything on. But now, what we could actually do, we could, we could probably test fit our brand, well, not brand new, but our new bumper is actually painted the same color as the car. So I'm hoping we, we will not have to repaint it, but uh, if we do, then, oh well. So let's, uh, let's see, let's unwrap it and see uh, how this looks. to refinish this though because um it uh it's just not gonna fly you know if you're rebuilding the car we might as well rebuild it the right way uh, let's test fit it and see how uh, everything lines up uh front end you could tell look at that um, LED um, the halo lights uh, or angel lights some people call them that looks pretty sick the facelift model looks has a nice uh, distinct look to it looks beautiful but anyhow we all the brackets are on the air ducts the bumper carrier everything uh, the light is fully working everything is aligned we test fitted the bumper, uh, you could, uh, could see it fits quite well, but we have to refinish it because uh, there's way too many scuffs on it and it's just not going to fly, uh, especially on a car like this, you know, you can't have a scuffed up bumper like that, so we have to refinish it. Uh, I'll have to clear the uh, the arrow codes um, on the ECU for the airbag and for some of the other stuff that, that's ongoing. And that will probably do that tomorrow. But other than that, it, uh, today was a very successful day. We um, we uh, we accomplished quite a bit. So I will catch you tomorrow. Peace.